I'm angry, I am upset. Nigerians, what have you done to them in Poland? Hmm? What have you left thousands of thousands of kilometers to come to Poland to come and do again? Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. See, there is something that some Nigerians are doing abroad when they travel out. They do some of these things and it has given the Nigerian country itself and the citizens bad names. And we've had a lot of it. Yes, we are all Africans, but sometimes, Charlie, we need to speak about some of these things. Nigerians out there who are destroying the name of Nigeria is so sick. There is a video that I want to show you. A man complaining about his child being denied in Poland. She wants to open a bank account for a child. She's a female and the bank denied that child because she's a Nigerian. I don't want to talk much. Let's watch the video. I am embarrassed, disgraced. I'm angry, I am upset. Nigerians, what have you done to them in Poland? Hmm? What have you left thousands of thousands of kilometers to come to Poland to come and do again? I tried to open a bank account for this child, this innocent child, this one here. And they said no, they don't put to Nigerians. I said why? Why only Nigerians? Say no, anything Nigeria? No. So which means Nigerians have come here and they have spoiled things for the next generation. Yeah, I don't know why God just put me in that country because me, I'm not part of all this scamming and nonsense. But now, uh, my child must now suffer because I'm also suffering it now. Uh, other people are suffering what some useless vagabonds have caused. Uh, what have you done to people in Poland that they don't, the banks here don't want to open an account for us again? Why? What have you done? Uh, you are mad you just mad mad young lazy boys you have left the shores of nigeria to come and destroy poland now future generations god knows for how many generations that cannot even come to this country and enjoy the ordinary zibabu they open for them but nigeria that woman said no Ogu will kill all of you. Thunder will fire you that are, wherever you are, that you are part of all this nonsense, that you are causing pain for Nigerians. Ha! Ah, this is terrible. You can't be doing that. I don't even know what to say. Before... Nigerians, why are we so greedy? Why are we so desperate? Why are we so in a haste to be wealthy overnight? Just a few months ago, nine sessions announced say they don't tighten their border against Nigerian passport holders. Say only people who get diplomat passport and people who get their working permit are allowed to enter their country now. Now, person who get working permit, where they work for the country, they don't catch them with drugs. Eh? Why we be like this? Why are we so desperate like this? Why say only us like money? We the claim say we smart. Why we no feel channel that smartness into something positive and legal? Eh? This money now, where they find? Don't be saying they want you to do anything. Now, make them collect big title. Only go no go, easy go dogu. Make them die cage and extra block the court and legal social light. What in again? South Africa no like us. Kenya no like us. Dubai no like us. Even our backyard, Ghana, they no like us. Say no only us will be human beings. We know if you think, we know if you make use of our brain. Eh? Our position don't they rub the pot of our head in for our face internationally already. We still they carry black paint. They make them permanent. Now me and you go so far more. Uh, we got uh, Nigerian passport now with being self gave value person that because of common men activity now because of this illegal activities up and down uh, traveling now one of these years things where other nationalities they do but for me and you will be Nigerians easy for us you know even to even enter Benesef very soon self you go there impossible because of this uh, rubbish eh? because of rubbish small picking will never work it won't collect pension how greediness uh, desperation everywhere, uh, money ritual, blood ritual, everything just for money, paper. At the end of the day, you go die, you go carry the money, you go. Nigerians, so no, no, go think. 
And I don't go make use of on ahead. We go the answer giant of Africa, giant of Africa. You know the shame, the answer, answer giant, giant where the wife they tell where to go and where to enter. You know the shame, the answer giant of Africa. Make one continue. When all of us go so far and uh, now people who are even pity now, people like us will be say with the hustle legally. Uh, this thing now go even make opportunities hard for you because a hard working Nigeria where the where the hustle legally now is hard for you to obtain international recognition or international opportunity because of that passport. And but even one person ask you where are you from, you are even ashamed to mention say you be, you be Nigerian because of many many things when they are attached to that name. We be say out of hundred things we don't attach to Nigerian name. Ninety nine na negativity. Yeah, ninety nine na negativity. Other people, when you ask them where they are from, with full confidence, they tell you, say, I'll be Seychelles, I'll be American, I'll be South African, I'll be Kenyan, I'll be Ghanaian. But if they ask me and you where we're from, talk through. If they proud, chest out, say you be Nigerian. We'll be saying many things go down wrong for your head. Say this person, what I want to say, I'll be Nigerian. How you go take reason me? Everywhere we go, we must turn our name. See, if you define job now, even no matter how qualified you are, as long as you're an international company, no matter how qualified you are, as long as you they see location in Nigeria for your destiny, they rather hire a person who never even get experience teaching the job rather than to hire you where get that experience. Because say you be Nigerian. Eh? It's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. We know if we use our brain because of money, desperation. To my non-Nigerian followers, please don't be offended that this video doesn't relate to what you know me for, the reason why you followed me. But I needed to use my little platform to render my own voice to this shameful thing going on about my country. Maybe it can make a little positive change. So these are some of the things some Nigerians are going through abroad. You saw the other video too. The guy was talking about Seychelles. This thing has been happening back to back, day in, day out. It's something that has been happening all the time. Sometimes I ask myself, is it a cartel of a group of people that have just decided to just destroy the name of Nigeria or what? Because it baffles me. I don't understand. Do they have a union? Or <laughs> Because, man, like everywhere, everywhere. And I say this, I talk about some of these things too because I have Nigerian friends and they are very good guys. You see, so... When some of these things are affecting them, it hurts me too. So definitely I will also talk about some of these things. Yes, I will talk about some of these things. Because man, imagine me being a Ghanaian, traveling to another country and I want to open a bank account. And the bank will say, because I am from this country, they are not going to open the account for me. Jeez, I will be mad everywhere. Like it's not like just in South Africa, Ghana or Kenya or wherever. Like even outside Africa, in the UK, wherever. It's too much. Let's change our attitude as Africans when we travel because some of these things affect us and the future generations too. Not only the current generation. It is going to affect future generations and your unborn kids. So if you are doing something today, you should remember that if there is any consequences, it's not just going to happen or affect you, but definitely it's going to affect the future generation, your unborn kids. Let's stop some of these things. I really want to hear, like have a whole six months or even three months of not hearing any bad thing being done by a Nigerian in the world or even in Africa. I'll be so happy. I'll be so, so, so happy. Thank you so much for watching. I am embarrassed, disgraced. I'm angry, I am upset. Nigerians, what have you done to them in Poland? Hmm? What have you left thousands of thousands of kilometers to come to Poland to come and do again? I tried to open a bank account for this child, this innocent child, this one here. And they said, no, they don't open to Nigerians. I said, why? Why only Nigerians? Say no, anything Nigeria? No. So which means Nigerians have come here and they have spoiled things for the next generation. But yeah, I don't know why God just put me in that country because me, I'm not part of all this scamming and nonsense. But now, uh, my child must now suffer because I'm also suffering it now. Uh, other people are suffering what some useless vagabonds have caused. Uh, what have you done to people in Poland that they don't, the banks here don't want to open an account for us again? Why? What have you done? Uh, you are mad, you this mad, mad young lazy boys. You have left 
the shores of Nigeria to come and destroy Poland. Now, future generations, God knows for how many generations that cannot even come to this country and enjoy. The ordinary Zimbabwe, they open for them. But Nigeria, that woman said, no. Ogu will kill all of you. Thunder will fire you that are, wherever you are, that you are part of all this nonsense, that you are causing pain for Nigerians. Ha! Ah, this is terrible. You can't be doing that. I don't even know what to say. Oh, before I, I, 